So I'm just going to go into full screen mode here so I can talk about HCI. Um, HCI, Human Computer Interface. This is really the last bit of um, software f that you're going to cover. Um, it's listed as interfaces, commonly known as HCI throughout the computing world, throughout the um, IT world. Um, it doesn't matter which one you call it, get away with both. So there's a good definition for it. So you're really talking about uh, human beings, in other words, uh, people who are um, in control of and the devices, the hardware and the software. Don't forget this is part of software so we're really focusing largely on software but it is to do with hardware on the other side as well and it's how then two things come together so it's how the communication happens between the two things. Uh, this is a good diagram I think really to get a clear image of what we're talking about here so the interface is really the thing that sits in the middle as I said, you've got the devices on one side, be it a computer, be whatever device you're talking about, um, on the other side. And it's really the, the, the way that the communication happens in the middle. So it's not just about um, output. So don't think of it in terms of it just being a screen. That's a, um, a common misconception. You're really talking about input as well. So input as regards what data goes in and output as regards what information comes out. Uh, we're always back to that same concept. But So the keyboard, I know it's we're talking about hardware here, but the keyboard is just as important as regards the interface as a screen is on a traditional sort of PC or laptop setting. So what's important for questions that you're going to get is your ability to be able to describe um, interfaces and, la and to follow on from those sorts of questions you're going to often be asked to uh, provide sensible uses for um, particular types of interface. So the types you need to know about really are um, form based and uh, form based has certain characteristics which I've listed there. Um, largely used for text yeah you can click on things for ticking and that kind of thing but we're talking about the sort of forms that you fill in on screen and you can go and have a look at any sort of form and begin to think about that a form to sign up for a site or something like that uh, just think of the idea as of how they get you to check and submit you know they'll go through and detect errors for you and things like that do you press enter and that sends you on or do you click on to submit that sort of thing um, so there's an example for you I uh, already talked about ideas to do with form based. Then you've got menu based. Now, um, of course, you're way too young to be going in pumps and you've never seen a pub quiz game, but I think that's a brilliant example. Being sarcastic there, I'm sure you've seen a pub quiz game like that kind of thing. That's a classic example of a menu based interface. Don't get this mixed up with uh, a GUI, which we'll go on into a, in a minute, a graphical user interface, although it is a type of graphical user interface. Uh, a menu base is just is very restrictive. It's menus leading you into submenus, so it's not really windows, icons, menu, pointers, which we'll talk about next. It's just about uh, going through menus. So I've already said pub quizzes, but tourist information booths, going to a train station, something like that, you can click on the screen get from one option to another option uh, if you've been de if you've been to London or um, or anywhere that's got a tube sort of map you can click and pay like that as well um, so the GUI we just talked about there that's windows icons menu pointers so the classic system you'll see if you click on the start menu if you've got a windows computer you'll see that that's a GUI a graphic user interface so point and click brings up multiple programs Okay, and then lastly, we in this sort of interface, we have the natural language interface. So this is, uh, you know, got some graphic elements to it. But it's the ability to be able to um, speak and get audio responses. Yeah, so classically used with um, uh, blind pers people, people with special needs, or indeed on some iPhone menus, or there's some sort of sat navs that do this. I think my dad in his car has got a radio that you can talk to and tell it which station you want to go to. But lastly, in these sort of uh, in the interface things, this is a non-graphical one. Is the command line, and the command line is what you would bring up on on DOS, which sits behind Windows. That's a good example. Non-graphical, putting text in, so keyboard input. And there's an example of how you'd use that.